Hey everybody, today we are talking about lesson 9-4 and this is surface area of pyramids. And I'm on page 517 in New York workbook. Um, so to begin with, a pyramid is a three-dimensional figure that has one polygon, polygon, polygonal base and triangular sides that meet at a point. The sides are called lateral faces. So that's what all the triangles are, the lateral faces. Whatever is in the center of the net here is the type of pyramid that it might be. So this is a square base pyramid. We can also have triangular base pyramids and they only have three faces to them, okay? So those are the two different types of pyramids that we will see. A regular pyramid has a base that is a regular polygon and lateral faces that are all congruent. So this would be an example of a regular pyramid. The height is one of the lateral faces, and a regular pyramid is the slant, slant height of the pyramid. The slant height also divides the base of the triangular face in half. So here we have it going directly in half, creating two congruent segments. So here we have the net of a regular pyramid. So this is a square base pyramid when it's fully assembled. And this is a triangular pyramid that's fully assembled. Notice that their bases are triangles or squares, and that classifies them as what type of pyramid? So on page 518, this is where we are next. So the square base pyramid is here. And to create a net for that, we first draw its base. And we can see the base is four by four. This next step would be to draw four congruent faces all being the exact same shape, right? Same shape and size with a height of 7.23. There we go. And so this is what a net of a pyramid would look like. Now, if we were to do the same thing for this pyramid for our test, start by drawing a square base pyramid that's almost five by five, three, four, so this would be the square base to it, and then we would draw with a height of 3.8, so almost 4, 2, 3, so about to here. And that would be, oops, if I would have centered it more. There we go. So that would be one face, and you would do that each of these. Now, obviously, it's really hard when they give you a decimal, but it's important just to understand what the net would look like for each of these. So something similar to that, obviously, now is happening. Um, now, if we were to do that with a triangular prism or pyramid, remember, we start by drawing the base, and then we draw triangular faces extending out from that in the correct shape. Now, we're not going to worry about drawing that because you know, it's really not what all of this is about, okay? Um, but it's important to find the surface area. So the surface area is found much the same way that we find the surface area of a rectangular prism or a triangular prism. All we have to do is find the area of each one of the faces and the base and add them all together. So if we have a triangular pyramid with a base that is six by six, we can multiply six times six to get the base of 36 centimeters squared. Then we do our triangular faces. Eight times six is 48, but half of that is 24. We know then that each face is worth 24. Now we can put that all together. So 24 times four is 96 plus our 36. So this would have a total surface area of 132 centimeters squared. We're simply finding the area of each base and putting it all together. Let's take a look at our next one here. So once again, we have our base that is a square. Start by finding the area of that base. Four times four is 16. Then we find the area of each of the triangles. We do four times the lateral um, face here, which is the slant height of 7.23. So 
So we're going to do 4 times 7.23 will give us 28.29, but because it's a triangle, we divide by 2. So each base is 14.4. <clears throat> we then multiply that by 4 for the four faces and add in our base of 16 and you should get 73.84 centimeters squared as the total surface area for this pyramid, the square base pyramid. Now, Let's go ahead and try this check. I would like you to try this one on your own. Find the area of the base and then the area of each base and then add them all together. So go ahead and pause here, take a moment and solve. So like I said, the first step, find the area of your base, 4.8 times 4.8. The base is 23.04, okay? Then we do 4.8, which is the base, times the slant height, 8. Now, because it's a triangle, we divide by 2. Each of these is then worth 19.2. We multiply that by 4 to get the sum of the faces and add in our base. And you should get a total of 99.84 inches squared for your surface area of this pyramid. Now, let's talk about triangular base pyramids. You do it no different than the other ones. Now, when we look at this shape here, the base is nine, okay? The base is nine for each of these triangles. They're all the same. That makes things helpful because all of these are equilateral triangles. So all I have to do here is find the area of one. I'm gonna do nine times 7.8, which is the height, which gives me 70.2, but because this is a triangle, we divide by two, we get 35.1. Now if this is 35.1, this is also 35.1. So I can simply multiply by one, two, three, four, to get the total, which is 140.4, oops, I suppose I can move my calculator, meters squared. Now, does this work for every triangular base pyramid? No, only when this is completely made of equilateral triangles. All right, so let's take a look at our next one. Once again, the first step is to find the area of the base. 3.5 times 4, because it's a triangle, we divide by 2. So you should get 7. This base, or this base is 7. Now let's find the area of the two. So they are 4 by 5, right? 4 is the base. 4 times 5, which is our plant height, it's 20. It's a triangle, so we divide by 2. Each of these is worth and then we add it together, 10, 20, 10, plus 7, you would get 37 feet squared as your surface area for this pyramid. All right, last problem here. Here is your apply problem. As usual, you're going to give it a try and email me your answer. Morgan needs to construct three different square pyramids for the school play. The dimensions of the pyramids are shown on the table. The cost of the materials to build the pyramids is 29 cents per square foot. How much will Morgan spend on materials for all three pyramids? So you need to figure out first what is the uh, what is the surface area for each of the pyramids, and then multiply by 29 cents per square foot, and that will give you the total amount. Now remember, these are square pyramids, so if the base edge is two, the base here would be two by two. If the base edge is five, five by five. 3.5, same thing here, 3.5 by 3.5, okay? And then you would multiply by the height to get 
each of the four faces and divide by two. All right, so as always, please give that a try. Email me your answer to, so, to show me that you've done it. If you have any questions, please let me know. All right, have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you later.